My name is Houston Sharp. I was co-art director and lead artist on the history painting section of Wonder Woman. So I started working on Wonder Woman in the end of July of 2016 and it was a long process and we didn't finish the history painting part of it until January of 2017. So we were on it for about six months. The hardest part was that we had to establish a look first. So the first panel we did, we did many iterations of. And then once we were able to nail it, which took about a month or two, then we could easily apply that look that we knew that we wanted to the other panels. But when Diana is young, she's being told the history of how gods created mankind and the Amazons. They open up this massive triptych painting, which is the painting that we're talking about here, as the exposition of this story moment takes place. Uh, the painting is animated while Diana is looking at it. It started off with Patty, and she saw what Platige Image, who is the company that dimensionalized and animated this painting, had done before with the Battle of Grunwald by Jan Matejko. Um, they actually did this process on that painting. So Patty knew that she wanted that for her movie. The art history influence behind it was initially that the Battle of Grunwald by Jan Matejko, which is a 19th century painting. But we wanted to look a little bit further back to like 16th century painting to get started, at least for the compositions. And then to move past that and get like the lighting, the drama, the anatomy, we started looking towards uh, 19th century painters like uh, Albert Bierstadt, Solomon, Joseph Solomon, all those type of artists. We wanted it to look like it was done oil on canvas because that's how it's presented in the movie, obviously, but that would just not be practical at all for this. It's all done digitally, but we tried to keep it as a traditional workflow as possible. So we didn't use any like tricks or 3D or anything like that. We just straight drew and paint. We did have to change the process a little bit to adhere to what Platige needed because they needed the painting to be separated, everything on its own layer so that then they can take that and project it onto their geometry. The biggest challenge overall, and it, it, it has a lot of threads that kind of tied in back into this challenge, was the ability to keep consistency while we were working on this painting. For one, it took us a long time, and by the time we were almost done with it, we had jumped in skill level and understanding of the, the material. The later paintings looked a lot different than the earlier ones which posed a problem in consistency. Also keeping everybody in check and doing a similar enough style so that it wouldn't jump out. Like some people's panels might look a little bit different than other people's panels just because they're not the same person that painted it. But we had to make it look like it was all painted by one person. This was a team effort, definitely. We had a small team of I think, six to eight artists all working at different times on this. The fact that it's such a massive project that we finished is a huge accomplishment. In terms of specific panels, ones that I had the most fun painting, I think it's probably the one where Zeus slays Ares. First of all, it's just a cool shot, but it's also one of the simplest in the painting. It's, there's not too many characters, it's just Zeus and Ares. And so I, I could really spend time finessing like the anatomy and the lighting on them, getting the expressions just right, the gesture. But that one was a lot of fun. I could just zone out and, and paint. It feels really good to be able to have finished something of this magnitude. And I'm sure the other artists feel exactly the same.